If you have ever used Cherish OS on your device, if it's based on Android 12.1 right now, the latest version is out, version 3.8. I'm using this version from, I'm using Cherish OS actually from a lot of time and found this room is actually one of the good custom rooms which could, which includes some cool customization, some cool features for you. Let's take a quick look at the changes, the change log which we have in this, with this version 3.8. Yes, it's based on Android 12 L, so which means all the Android 12. Android 12 L features are already included you'll be able to use those features on your device without having any kind of issues it will still give you the easter egg from android 12 as you just saw it will give you the june security patch so yes this is the latest version which we have alongside with the june security patch the first change which we found here is the quick settings panel we have the data usage option available data usage option is actually one of the most useful things for a lot of users it's actually not a customizable thing it's actually a quite useful feature you want to note that how much data your device is consuming with mobile data or wi-fi it's sick that will give you the usage and that's quite useful that's there now finally in the notification panel now we have the option for using the retigger notifications you can replace your heads up notifications with this slim and less invasive version of redesign ticker unfortunately i don't have any notification right now but yes this will give you a very good look if you use this thing on your device another feature another change which we found here is in the app lock if, if you are if you're a user who use app lock on their devices then you might found them you might find this feature quite useful for you too if i check out here enable biometrics for unlocking i didn't saw this feature anywhere you have the option to use your fingerprint or face lock for the app lock if you don't want to use it you can simply disable that so that's quite useful and alongside with that we also have some few of the system apps also available which you can uh, turn on for the lock if you want to like as you can see the messages app which is the default one the google play store is also default one contacts and we have files by google so this is something really interesting which we have available but yes if you don't use app log this might not be of any use for you but if you use it this might be quite interesting one this was about the changes which we have another change which we found here is the app volume if you check out the app volume uh, sorry let me just try to check it out in the youtube app for example if I try to open YouTube right now and if I try to play any kind of video, for example, just taking it as an example, if I try to play this video, if I try to turn or a turn off the volume, increase or decrease the volume, if you're able to see the app volume, if I check out that shortcut with this app volume and I press that volume key, there was an icon for that app which was not available previously. Let me check out once again. If you're able to see now we have the icon available for that specific app, whichever app you're using for that app volume for. This seems quite interesting too. If we move on to the other options, we didn't find any major changes. But yes, Cherry Shows is actually one of those custom rooms which will give you a lot of customization. So as this one too. In the battery section, I also found the Pixel Battery Stats Provider as an option. So that's quite useful. You can even you can even wipe the stats if you want to. If you want to check out the screen on time, etc., raining, etc., that might help for you. If we move on to the cherry settings, here comes a lot of customizations. For example, almost same kind of things like status bar customizations. A lot of Volti icons are there. I tried finding out some Volti icons. Let me disable this Wi-Fi icon first. You can see there are tons of Volti icons available where you can enable uh, the Volti icon from Oxygen OS or etc. etc. It was about the status bar customization, some quick settings customizations also present. Theming, yes, you can use your custom themes. If you don't want to use the normal wallpaper based theming, you can use your own custom colors if you want to. The icon pack support as expectedly is already there. Buttons, animations, lock screen, power menu, etc. Almost same kind of things here, but miscellaneous has some cool things. For example, ignore window secure flags, application downgrade unlimited google photo storage and a lot more things you can go and find out and explore a lot of things in this latest cherry shows maybe a quite a good choice for you if you want to install something on a device this is about this custom this was about this latest version from cherish os the version 3.8 based on android 12.1 if you want to install this thing on a device as i just mentioned the link for all the official supported devices is already available in the description and these were things i just want to let you know about if you like this video, don't forget to like and share this. And also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel. As I'll see you in the next video, make sure to subscribe the channel. This is all. Thanks for watching and a goodbye.